Hey, CG Bandit welcomes you to opening lesson of lighting series. In this lesson, you will study the logic of fake light placement in enclosed spaces like bathrooms, storages, check rooms, and other spaces without windows or daylight source. Let's study this beautiful scene. Pink bathroom which you can, by the way, purchase at cgbandit.com. The main challenge scenes like this one have is when you place light in enclosed spaces with fake spotlights or built-in ceiling lights. You have an issue with overexposed floors or not enough exposed floors. In this scene, there's enough highlight on the ceiling and on the walls, but not enough highlight on the floor. If we compare upper half and lower half of the scene, it's visible that lower half drastically lacks some light on most of the surfaces. Furniture needs some light, wash basin needs some light, decor elements need light too, and etc. Correct light placement helps human eye to better see the geometry, the shape of an object. That way, correct light placement helps you present beautiful design to appear even more pleasant. So, let's learn how to make this scene look tastier. I've moved the camera angle so it's visually easier for you to learn my technique and to see the before and after results. Tone mapping settings remain the same, except I've added some curves in Curve Editor to make dark tones darker and light tones lighter, but medium tones remain the same. I've changed Gamma with LUT CG Bandit Gamma 1, put it to 0.4, before gamma was 2.2, now it's circa 1.8. Bloom and glare remain the same. Sharpening increased to 60%. Before sharpening, the scene looked kinda blurry to me, not very pleasant. After the sharpening, Pixels look grainy and voluminous. All right, now let's light up the bottom half of the scene. The main illumination source in the scene was on the ceiling, made with Corona Light MTL, which had those two boxes as built-in ceiling lights. As you can see, this choice of lightning is not ideal. I mean, you can work with it, though it's inconvenient when you try operating with it. You can work with intensity and directionality, and that's all with this material. I think this light isn't that versatile for us. Let's improve the scene. First, we reduce intensity for ceiling light just to show that the ceiling light is on. And then we work with fake lights, which would be our main source of lighting in the scene. Now you can see that ceiling lights are on, but they don't light the whole scene. That's exactly what we need. Even the decorative light behind the mirror is now more prominent than the ceiling light. Now let's make some fake light. Corona. Corona light, shape, disk, directionality, zero. Let's put it between those two ceiling light boxes. Size 50-60 millimeters in radius. Put it 30-40 millimeters before the ceiling. Make its intensity up to 80 points. Now, the light is scattered all over the scene, because its directionality equals zero. 
Let's make it 0 0.2. The first fake disk light works to evenly highlight the walls in the room. But for the floor highlight, it's not enough. So we will copy this disk for the floor later. Now I can move my disk anywhere to get the ideal shadows under the furniture. Which I couldn't do with those initial ceiling boxes before. Those boxes would stay in their place just to imitate light. For the disk, don't forget to uncheck all the checkboxes in non-physical properties visibility to make disk invisible for render, refraction, reflection and etc. Alright, next we shift and drag to make a copy of our disk to highlight the floor. To give the floor its light, we must increase the directionality to 0 0.5. Here you can see the difference between directionality 0 0.2 and directionality 0 0.5. Second disc shines at narrow angle on the floor. First disc shines at wider angle on the walls. Make the intensity of the floor light lower at 10. Okay, now the scene looks nice to me. I'm saving the result to History, Store Current VFB. Now let's do different technique, which means mixing fake lights with true lights in the scene. I delete the first fake light. And increase the intensity for the initial light boxes Corona Light MTL for 5 or 6 units. So now we have the fake light for the floor and initial light for the walls. Alright, now we have pretty good result. But this technique of mixing fake and initial light has a disadvantage. You can't move the fake light to change the shadow direction. Or else the shadow's gonna double itself, which is not good. That's why I think the first technique with fake lights only is better. Now we can move to history to compare the results. On the right is before, on the left is after. Notice the lower half of the scene now. The furniture geometry feels now more voluminous. The surfaces became brighter and clearer. The scene itself looks more approachable and pleasant for a human eye. You can compare both techniques with fake light and with mixed light. On the right we have technique with fake light. On the left we have mixed light. All in all the results are almost the same. Although in mixed light we have double shadows. Alas. To my mind first technique works better 
Feel free to use both techniques depending on your case. I'm sure you'll make the best tasteful renders applying your skills and effort. Thank you for your time. CG Bandit, signing off.